Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It is 6 a.m. and welcome to Brandon Hyde's vlog number 57. Well, you look comfortable. Well, that's good. Okay, so I'm about to begin a eight and a half hour journey to St. Louis. It's eight and a half, half hour drive, 600 miles. I really gotta get going, so I can't talk too much. See this camera, this G7X? I'm gonna put it up here in the suction cup uh, and do a little time lapse. Right now, I and for the majority of this vlog, I will be using this camera. It's Canon 80D, but for time lapses, and inside the arena, I'll be using the G7X. So anyway, amazing time lapse, St. Louis. I'll break every hour to do an update. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Knoxville now. Knoxville is like the first city we're gonna hit on the way to St. Louis. Uh, still got about, I don't know, seven hours left. Uh, right now I'm heading uh, towards Na Nashville. We'll be driving through Nashville, but this right here is Knoxville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now in Nashville, Tennessee. It's the next city we're passing on our way to St. Louis. Um, I'll actually be back here in a month for Monday Night Raw, July the 17th. Uh, it's the Raw Before Battleground Raw before I'll be going up to Philadelphia. But ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Nashville is halfway. So she's gonna drive the rest. Um, so I believe we have about four hours left, uh, like 240 miles or something, which the miles thing doesn't make any sense for international viewers. But uh, yeah, St. Louis, money in the bank. I am coming. So we have four more hours to St. Louis. So here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Kentucky right now. Uh, this is kind of, uh, Kind of a weird trip because you just like go through like the very tip of states uh so in this little like road trip i'm going through the whole state of tennessee i'm going through the tip of kentucky the tip of illinois and then i'm finally in missouri it's just crazy how you go through the tips and you're going uh, like what like five states in one day that's absolutely crazy uh but uh about uh, about three and a half hours left um we're in kentucky and then we got to go through Illinois and then uh, Missouri. So uh, I think we're gonna, I'm going to have about like five hours to sightsee around uh, St. Louis. So that should be pretty fun. I'll try to get some cool shots for the vlog and stuff. Uh, but we still have three and a half hours. So let's get back to the time lapse. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that little thing with the uh, red roof or whatever, that is our hotel. It's actually a train station that was built in the 1800s. Right here. This is my hotel. Remember, this used to be a train station. Hotel room. So this this used to be like a train station, and they like remodeled it into a hotel. It's pretty cool. They got like train stuff all over the walls and stuff. Um... Not exactly a skyscraping view, but it's still a pretty cool view. Made pretty good timing here. Um, it's 2.30 p.m. right now. My broken phone will turn on. Uh, it's 2.30 p.m. I gotta go to the arena about 6.45, so I gotta, I gotta a little while to do something cool. So let's go see what St. Louis has to offer. Oh, got some trains in here. Out here now, St. Louis. And that would be my hotel right there. 
I think the famous arch is up here, so we're gonna go try to see that. There's the St. Louis arch or whatever, but it looks super close, but it's actually a mile and a half away. That's crazy, 30 minute walk to get to that arch. Out the buses. I guess the arena's like right there. Well, St. Louis is pretty nice. Uh, the size of St. Louis reminds me a lot of the size of Nashville, but I don't know. I've been here for like 30 minutes, so I can't really tell, but uh, about halfway to the arch right now. I want to get my photo in front of the arch. It's like the thing everyone thinks of when they think of St. Louis is this arch up here. Okay, so maybe this view is a little bit better. <laughs> Look at that right there. Is a, I don't know what it's actually called. I think Gateway Arch or something, but it's the St. Louis Arch. Very, very cool. All right guys, so heading back to the hotel right now. Gonna get the car, grab a bite to eat, and then I guess I'm going to Money in the Bank, my favorite pay-per-view here in the city of St. Louis. Come on, I'm trying to thumb. Really? Okay, I'm back to the room. Got a little bit of Wendy's. Gonna enjoy my little bit of Wendy's, and then I guess I will uh, rest for a few, uh, I'm gonna have a few hours left. I'll rest for a few minutes, and then it's off to the Scott Trade Center for money in the bank. It should be absolutely phenomenal. Whoa, I'm not sure what's going on, but there's fire. There's fire in water somehow. What in the hell is going on? There's, there's stuff falling. There's like a little show here on my hotel room uh, window. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just now left my hotel, my beautiful hotel. I'm going to the Scott Trade Center right now for money in the bank. My favorite pay-per-view, my first show since WrestleMania 33. It's like half a mile walk. So I'm not gonna vlog for half a mile, so I'll see you guys then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am now in the Scott Trade Center. Pretty loud in here. Um, show starts in like 15 minutes. I'm about to go to my seat right now. I actually forgot to mention, I'm not gonna be able to record much tonight. Like WWE actually watches my videos now and they actually take them down if I include like in-ring footage. So I can probably do the pyro and some reactions tonight. But it's still a fun time. This whole vlog is about my trip, not just about, you know, the show. Okay, so I think I'm gonna come up here and film in between matches just to give you like my thoughts or whatever. I don't know what that match even was. Like James Ellsworth won it for Carmella. Absolutely crazy. The thing is, when you're not going to a show with like a friend, it's kind of awkward recording down there. So I'm just gonna come up here and give you my thoughts after the matches, and I can't show you the matches. I'll try to take some pictures to show you. That's the best I can do, so sorry about that. Oh. Chaos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back to the hotel right now. Uh, I'm out of breath because I just walked half a mile, but anyway, I'm gonna rest for a minute before I actually give the review of the show and end this vlog, but I just wanna give a giant shout out to St. Louis. You guys are crazy. I met like 30 of you guys tonight. It was insane. Took a bunch of selfies, signed a few autographs and stuff like that. It just, it's just so overwhelming that, um, People uh, here, like almost a thousand miles from where I make the videos, actually watch the videos. And I, I even know like people in the different countries, like the England or uh, the England, like England or, well, I guess the whole UK, uh, you know, the Europe and all that is just absolutely crazy. I just want to give a giant shout out to you guys. If you ever see me at a show or anything, come up to me. I will definitely take a selfie. Or if you want to autograph or just want to talk a little bit of wrestling, I'm there. Okay, so I've cooled down a little bit. Still uh, pretty hot. <laughs> Um, really, really tired. I uh, got up at 6 a.m. this morning, um, Eastern Time, and right now it's 11 p.m. Eastern Time, so, yeah, I've been up a good little while, so, um, anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I actually got another chair for my pay-per-view chair collection, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I have to come over here, but, yeah, it's a pretty cool chair. Um, so I'll add that to my pay-per-view chair collection. I think that's like my, it's probably like my 15th chair or something. Uh, but as for Money in the Bank, I thought it was a pretty good show. I mean, it was rumored for a while that Baron Corbin was winning. That's indeed what happened. It was rumored for a while Carmella was winning. That's indeed what happened, kind of. James Ellsworth. Um, 
it was a good show. I enjoyed it. I know, I know some uh, some people might be upset the Baron Corbin one, but I thought it was an excellent match. We had Nakamura and AJ Styles. I thought that was an incredible um, little matchup there. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the Money in the Bank trip vlog. I know I, I really want to apologize that I couldn't show footage. Um, like, smaller channels can get away with it. I used to be able to get away with it, but WWE watches me now. And they're like, you can record your face in the arena. You can record the entrances. You just can't record the matches is the thing. Um, so I'm completely fine with that. If you guys really want to see the pay-per-view that bad, I'm sure you can find it free on YouTube or free on another site or something like that. Uh, but this was my trip. This was my experience with Money Bank. I give it a big thumbs up. Wait, before I actually let you guys go, um, I do want to say that I'm sorry that I, I took like this giant break after WrestleMania, like, like trip vlogs and, uh, I, I, like WrestleMania was in April and it's June now and I'm just now doing another vlog. So I apologize for that. Uh, but next weekend I am meeting some wrestlers in Knoxville. And then after that, I'm flying up to New York City to meet CM Punk, the best in the world. And then after that, I'm going to Battleground. I'm going to the Raw in DC. Uh, of course, Battlegrounds in Philadelphia. Going to a bunch of shows. So, brand new vlogs coming to the channel very, very soon. This is the end card. Download my second channel as well as my podcast channel. Uh, podcast launching soon. Over here are some previous videos you guys may have not seen that you'll probably enjoy. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like this video. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free. I will see you guys in the next video.